If you're thinking about installing Tesla Powerwall for grid tie with battery backup to protect your home from a loss of the power grid, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video first because I'm gonna be talking all about how the Tesla Powerwall performs in an off-grid environment. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their household set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And typically we use solar power with battery backup to accomplish that. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a somewhat of a follow-up to an earlier review that I did where I was comparing the Tesla Powerwall to the Enphase battery. And I wanna talk specifically about how the Powerwall performs in a grid down environment. Now, if you recall from the previous video, I had made a statement that when the Tesla enters off-grid mode, it will first discharge from the battery until it reaches about 60% state of charge before allowing the solar panels to reactivate to recharge the battery. And I wanted to correct that statement. Uh, I did get a lot of feedback uh, and clarification from Tesla Powerwall owners that the Powerwall will allow solar power to operate in parallel with the battery discharge to help support loads in a grid down mode. So the way this works is uh, when utility power drops out, initially the solar panels turn off for five minutes. During that time, the power wall will energize the critical loads panel. And after five minutes of stability, the grid tie uh, or the solar panels, many times with micro inverters or with a, a grid tie inverter, after five minutes, the solar panels will turn back on and then once the battery reaches full charge again, in the event where the, the house or the solar is producing more than what the house can absorb, then once the battery reaches full charge again, it sends another frequency shift causing the uh, solar panels to shut off. So basically it's, it's only five minutes or, or you know, at most five minutes without power uh, per interval if you're running in a grid down mode. Now, I, as I mentioned in the earlier video, this creates a lot of micro cycles on the battery. So you're draining, then you get five minutes, you're recharging, you're draining again five minutes, then recharging. So over time, if you were to, to operate in that mode over a long period of time, it could shorten the life of your battery, but you can rest assured that if you end up in a, a power outage due to a storm or something like that, you can use both your solar and your battery at the same time to power the house. Now, the other revelation that we've had over the past couple of weeks is that the Tesla battery requires internet connection uh, to operate. And so after two or three days of grid down operation, if there is no internet connection, the battery actually deactivates itself. And so that is a major vulnerability for anybody who's talking about long-term grid down preparedness if you're looking at this as a solution to protect your home from a long-term loss of the grid, that's, a, I think, a serious risk factor that you need to consider. Two to three days without internet uh, could potentially leave the battery uh, non-functional. Now, we are gonna be actively researching this and seeing if there are ways that, that you can work around that or if there are settings that you can, you can place in the power wall uh, to avoid it from doing this automatic shutdown. But from the information I have today, after two or three days of no internet, the battery will deactivate. And you know the rationale for this is that Tesla wants to see the performance data of the battery. They wanna make sure that you're using the battery in an approved manner so it doesn't invalidate the warranty. However, from a grid down preparedness perspective, uh, I think that's a major potential vulnerability for anybody that's preparing for a long-term power outage. You wanna make sure you have a solar storage system that can operate completely independent uh, of both the power grid and of the uh, internet network. So folks, if you'd like to take a look at uh, maybe the power wall or maybe some other options that can, can work in more of a standalone environment, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, there should be a link to the website below. Uh, and as always, if you're getting good value from the channel, make sure you click on the thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so that the YouTube and the other platforms will show the video to more people. Well, thank you for tuning in today and watching today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.